Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your girl T alongside your girl Gwen. Thank you so much for always choosing to pass by. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, share, and comment so that we get to interact. So today us uh, we are not going to talk about reminders. We have a visitor on the channel. I want her to introduce herself, tell us more about herself, and we go ahead. I'm Gwen. Hello, everyone. Hope you enjoy the video. That's all. That's all. So we have basically Gwen's religious questions. We want to see what her religious texts are all about. So that maybe we get to learn from her or disagree, of course. She's a funny girl, but we are here to learn. None of us is perfect. You're saying she's funny. So, when what religion do you believe in? Christianity. Christianity. Yes. Is Christianity a religion? I think Christianity, the, like, it has categories. There are Protestants, they are born again, but for me, I'm a born again Christian. You're a born again Christian? Yes. Is being a born again a religion? Do you think being a born again or oh, born again is a religion? Or faith. I don't think it's a religion, but it's mm. it's a faith. faith. Not everyone is a born again. Yes. What do you mean by being a born again? Born again. All I can say it's all about being reborn. reborn. After repenting, yeah. you repent, and like you are like a baby, a baby, a newborn yeah, baby, a newborn baby. Yeah. Because the Bible always tells us that behold, behold, the new has come, the old has gone. Yes. Wow. So you forgot the past, whether you did wrong, whatever you did, you forget everything you did, and you focus on the new you. And even God forgets the, all the bad yes. things that you did in the past when you weren't a born again Christian. Yes. Once you believe in Him and your faith changes completely to serve Him wholeheartedly. God forgives you genuinely, holily. I don't know how to say it. Yeah, so God forgives you and you become a new being, right? Yes. You become reformed because you are a new creature, creature in God. So, um, do you believe in God? I do believe in God. Tell God, us more. God is there. God is there. And for everything He has done to me, I believe God is there. Okay, indeed. Yes. God has done so many but marvelous things. I can't wake up every morning and I'm still breathing, yet others are dying. And I don't believe that God is there. I God has done so many, so many things. Yes. You think so? Yes, I've done everything. Can... I can't say even it's only one thing. has done everything for me. Everything he has yes. washed you, he has washed me the breath I breathe. So, for him, indeed, me God has watched over me from the time I was born. He knew that um, I would become who I am today. He positioned the people in my life whom I'm really grateful for, indeed. Let me take this moment to thank my Queen Mother and Papa King. Hey, for real, God has done so many marvelous things through you in me. Thank you so much. My sisters have been the amazing ones, the brothers. Eh, I have an amazing family. And we appreciate God. Indeed. Yes. So, what is your idea of what God looks like? I can't say God looks exactly like this one or this. Mm. All I know, He looks exactly like me and like you. And like you. <laughs> Wait. Yes. God looks exactly like me and you and them. Yes. Why don't I look like you? And yet no. God looks like us. Tell me more. God is extraordinary. He can be you. He can be me. And he can be you too. Because he created yeah. us in, in his, his own, own image. image. Yes. 
So because of his unique yeah, uniqueness. No, extraordinary. Unique. Okay, uniqueness. Yeah. yeah. He managed to make us different. You yes. you're different from me, so we are differently created. But in oh. his own image. Impressive. Yes. So is there heaven or not? Oh, heaven, yes. There is heaven. Give but, us an overview of what you think heaven looks like. All I know about heaven, there is happiness, joy, no sorrows, no bad things that happen. Whatever happens here on earth, mm. it's different from heaven. Like there is no sorrow, there is no crying, just happiness and rejoicing. Yes. So what do you think that whatever happens on earth is different from what happens in heaven? On earth, yeah. like on earth, we are here complaining, oh, too much sunshine, oh, too much rain, oh, oh God accident. gives you this, the yes. other one comes in. Yes. We don't there's appreciate. Jealousy. There is jealousy, there is killing, but in heaven, there is no that. No sorrow, wow. just happiness. People grumble a lot, even after receiving whatever they've been praying for, including yes. Christians. Yes. You pray to God to give you something, then after God providing that, and they forget. then you forget, and you start again grumbling about something else. Yes. You pray for a house, God behold brings it forth. You feel like that's not what you wanted. Okay, after getting it, now you become greedy. Yes. You start demanding you more. more, demanding for more things. You get it? Yes. And we become so confusing and complicated, and yet we are so many people out there yes. that God looks the need to take care of. God has to look over you. Um, everyone has to be given what they deserve. But you become just so unappreciative. It's the human nature. Yeah. Always wishing to get more. The get more what you get, the more you want. The but more you get, the greedier you become. Uh -huh. But in heaven, there's no that. There it's is just everything. Just joy, happiness, happiness worshiping God, uh -huh. praising Him, love for one another, living in harmony, which and is not there on do earth. Do you know in heaven, we don't grow old? Who? Yes. Oh, point. We don't <laughs> grow old. In heaven, no growing old. We are old. just babies. Yes. Ah. We are like babies, we don't grow old. Because we don't die. Once we don't you die, die soul there's no there. dying. There's it's paradise no in out. Yes. For wow. paradise. So that's what you're happy about, not growing yes. old in heaven? Yes. <laughs> yes. Gwen. I love that. So do you think there is hell? Yeah. How does there it look like? What do you think lo hell looks like? All I know about hell it's pain, pain, sorrows. When you do bad, go to hell. And all I know about hell is down here, down on earth. We step on it. And heaven? Heaven is up there. But whenever we pray to God, we are always Heavenly Father. Hell is a Heavenly Father. Yeah, that's why I say heaven is up there. Wow. Yes. About hell, when you do bad, of course, you have to pay for it. And you can't get good after doing bad, of course. I have a burning question. Yes. You say that when you do bad, hell is openly waiting for you, right? right? Uh, yes. And uh, when you do good, heaven is waiting for you, right? Yes. So does that mean that even if I repent, I'm not open to going to heaven? No, when you repent, going to heaven, you have to have that faith. But faith goes along with actions. Good actions, not every action. Because faith without action is dead. Yeah. Yes. Faith with no action is a dead one. It's a dead Good one. Point. Yes. And it's also in the scriptures, by the way, we talked about that in our old videos. I have a question for you. You say that when, when you do good, you go to heaven, right? Yes. So does that mean that 
I should observe all the Ten Commandments and have faith too. And okay, and believe that God exists. You know, there you is have me. To believe in Him. I have a question. Complete. Please okay. listen to me. Listen. Okay. Um, if I do good, mm -hmm. um, help others, commit all the Ten Commandments, or practice them wholeheartedly or yes. genuinely. Yes. Yeah. With no bad intentions. Okay. You get. Uh, yes. Then you say that I I believe that God exists. Have faith in God. Yes. That's all. Yes. I don't but, see. Eh? You even think if, I don't see. Even if you don't see, but you don't have faith, there is no heaven. Yes. Okay. And you can't do good for only today or you're like oh today i have to do charity today i have faith and tomorrow you're like no no it doesn't work like so, that uh, that means god cannot be bribed even if you do a thousand goods on earth even if you do a thousand goods every day we sin yes when we are and every day when you sin you can sin without knowing you have sinned you. Whatever lingers around our minds. Yes. That's why when you start praying, you first repent. Yes. Ask for forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness. Impressive. Yes. Then <laughs> that's good. Good one. I wanted to ask you something for another day. Hi. Okay. Yeah, so what does hell look like? Hell is just pain. Pain. You can't do bad and expect to get good in it. They can't pay you good. You do bad, you get paid. You do bad, they pay you badly. Mm. Yes. So basically, in hell, people are busy grumbling. So they are suffering. Suffering crying. in pain. For what they failed to repent. Uh -huh. You get Yes. You have to repent to God each time you commit a crime. Or you commit a sin, not a crime. It's not a crime before God, it's a sin. Each time you commit a sin, you have to go down on your knees and repent. I love this song. Down on my knees. I found my Jesus. That's all. Yeah. So, thank you so much. Have a blessed day. Looking God forward to having you. you. Bye.